In this video, I will be demonstrating how to create a part family. The example will be a dowel pin. This dowel pin will have three different diameters, two different lengths, and two different materials. You can see the image um, above to see what those variants are. So the first step to creating this part family is to model a dowel pin. It is shown here. It's a simple extrude with a chamfer on either end. I've already gone ahead and created expressions. There is an expression for chamfer, diameter, and length. I will now assign those expressions to the various features in this model. All right, all expressions have now been assigned. Lastly, you can also assign material. This one will be aluminum 6061. So I will assign it using the assign material command. Now that this dowel pin has expressions and materials assigned, we will create the part family. Click on the part family command in the tools ribbon bar. To create the columns that you will need, sort for expressions, select chamfer, diameter, and length, and add these to the chosen columns. Next, change your available columns to attributes and add NX material as the last column and create, click on create spreadsheet. What appears is the different um, values driving your part family. From here, we can create the other 12 variants Once this is complete, save your changes. And hit OK. Now the spreadsheet has been created. To generate all members, go back to Part Families. Click on um, Edit Spreadsheet. Um, you can also verify that the location of your part um, directory is correct, it will create 12 new models. Um, so you might want to pick a directory that you want. I'm happy with my directory. Um, and to generate all the models, going to the Excel spreadsheet, go to add-ins and um, you want to highlight all rows. and Click on Create Parts. All right, so let's open up one of these parts to verify that the part has been created correctly. So we're going to click on Resume Spreadsheet, and we are going to exit out of the Excel spreadsheet. All right. Now that all of the part members have been generated, you can navigate to the directory that you selected and open a few models for 
a verification. According to my spreadsheet, um, I took a snapshot of it, I can check Dowel 7 and Dowel 10. For Dowel 7, I expect there to be a tenth out chamfer, a quarter inch diameter, one inch length, and aluminum material. Opening Dowel 7, I can verify that The distance, the length is one inch as expected. The diameter is a quarter inch as expected. The chamfer is 10 thou as expected. And the material is aluminum also as expected. If we go on to verify dowel 10, dowel 10 should also have a 10 thou chamfer, a half inch diameter and a half inch length in stainless steel material. Looking at dowel 10, I can verify the stainless steel material. The chamfer is also 10 thou. The length is half an inch. The diameter is also half an inch, and this is correct.